We're back on the road. Beep beep. Oh, sorry, fella. You okay? Oh boy, I think he's gonna be fine. Walk it off. Walk it off. Now we're standing at the end of the world, my friend, and there's nothing we can do about it now. Yeah, we're standing at the end of the world, my friend. We're gonna watch it all burn down. Yeah, we're gonna watch it all burn down. Hey, you wanna see me run? Watch how fast I am. Woohoo! I like the speedy Gonzales. Well, yeah, baby. We Check out those green shoes. <laughs> and my new blue uh, college jacket. Oh, you can't really see it because it's underneath my padding. But uh, it's there, trust me. In fact, why don't we take off the padding and I'll show you. There it is. Yep, you can see it. Right? It's a nice green college jacket. Right here. N for uh, nincompoops, right? Yeah, N for nincompoops. And it's got plus 10% run speed, so fantastic. All right, anyway, welcome back to Seven Days to Die. I actually was not planning on recording right now. But since we're here, we might as well. It's day 13, just after 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And I've been looting this house right here, right across from uh, Joe Bob's. Trader Joe Bob's place. In fact, I'm going to run over here real quick. Oh, boy. Dude, you gotta clean this place up. I keep tripping. Really? Is that how it's gonna be? He's ignoring me. All right, somebody's coming. Hold on. Let's sell that real Thanks quick. Okay, you betcha, buddy. Gear. Adios. All right, anyway, so I was just looting, and I'm gonna do a quest here real quick. Um, I was just trying to do some off-camera progression. Just trying to make a little progression, get some experience, get some money, um, that kind of thing. Over here, buddy. So, oh, I think I, sh I, think I shot Joe Bob's. Um, yeah, I mean, nothing too spectacular. This is a pretty big house. I was hoping to find some some uh, blueprints in here, schematics, but I did not. Well, actually, I did, but it's not very good. Mushroom spores. Yeah, great. We can make mushroom spores. I ain't no hobbit. Yeah, that right there, I believe, is a mine, so watch out. All right, let's go. We gotta run upstairs real quick here. I already, I already, I already looted the place. Um, got all the goodies, most of it anyway. And there's a couple of boxes up here. A shotgun messiah, and I think it was a working stiff tools. But I have cleared it out, found the goodies, and then we're gonna go get. Um, we're gonna do a quick fetch quest, and there's also an airdrop that fell while I was doing this. Where's the? Uh, here we go. Right up here. <laughs> yeah, so I wasn't really planning on recording. Um, I was going to come back and record on day 14 early in the morning. But since we're here, let's get her done. I thought it would be fun to at least open these boxes together. Hopefully we get something good. Yeah. Ooh, actually a level 5 axe is pretty decent. It's pretty decent, isn't it? Let's check it out. Let's repair it. Oh yeah, okay. I mean, it's a stone axe, but it's better than what I'm using. And a gun store box. Ooh, a double barrel. Already have one of those, but I guess it doesn't hurt having two. I mean, it doesn't sell for very much. 14, probably because it's all busted up. But uh, we can probably use that on Horde Night. And we have a desk safe here. And I'm debating using my new candy bar, which gives us a 100% lockpicking success. I, f I got this in the... Um, vending machine at Joe Bob's. I think I'm going to try it without first because this is kind of a small lock. It's only 12 seconds. Might be able to do it. We have a couple of skill points in lock pick, I think. Well, at least one. All right. Well, we're almost there. I think we can do it. We got plenty of um, lock picks. Yeah. Yeah. We'll save the candy bar for like a, a big safe or something. Gun safe. Oh, Ooh, this looks good. This looks good. Oh, it's a shotgun choke. Yes, that tightens the spread. Oh, I like that a lot. And then we have a water purifier mod. Purifies any water consumed while installed in your helmet. Oh, that's cool too. Can I put that in my, my sack? <laughs> my head sack? I already have a light there, but we can, we can add that too. Holy smoke, my head sack is amazing now. So it filters water just like that. So we can drink uh, the lemonade right out of the toilets, I think. Right? Yeah. Dude, actually, that was a really good safe find right there. 
Now let's put that choke in there. Yes, this means it's going to be a tighter spread. Um, so it's going to do a lot more damage, assuming more, more pellets land. So it's not as spread out, you know what I mean? It should be quite nice. Okay, well, that was definitely worth um, coming here for and waiting for you guys to show you. And now I think I'm going to get quickly organized and then head over to the fetch quest. Uh, actually, that's pretty far. Oh, yeah, that's too far. We can't do that. But there is an airdrop to... Where did the airdrop go? Oh, yep, way up here. All right, yeah, so they're not really very close together. What I think I might do is go back home, get organized, and then we'll maybe bang both of those out. We wanted to go to the north anyway to check out what's up there. But this could work out because we could go north, right, to the airdrop. And then we can come back east. And then maybe we'll find something up here and then come back down. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to run home, get organized, and be ready to rock and roll in the morning. Oh, I'm grab that too. Yeah, unfortunately, there were no bookcases or bookshelves in this house. I was hoping we'd find at least one because it's a big, big place, you know. Ooh, ammo, nice. Oh, what's that? It's a bandolier mod. Reload 15% faster. The effect is not stacked, but it can be installed into any chest or leg armor. Oh, you put it in armor. Holy smokes. Will that go in my head? Can I put that in my sack? No, that does not fit in my head sack, unfortunately. Do we have any more slots here? Oh, yeah, we do. We've got plenty of slots in my purple padded chest. 15% reload. Man, this house actually was pretty good. It turned out to be a decent little jackpot. Okay, I'm going to head home, and I'll see you all in the morning after a good night's rest. We've got a long bike ride ahead of us tomorrow. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right. It is now the moment of truth. We're going to try out our new head sack water filtration system with this fine Arizona uh, lemonade right out of a toilet. I'm not sure whose toilet, but whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh. Oh. not bad. Not bad at all. I feel fine. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. I love it. I love this new head sack. It's so versatile. It's got four modifier slots. It's got a light. It's got a water purifier. Not too shabby. And it looks amazing. Right? Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. All right. Anyway, let's uh, let's eat some bacon and eggs. And we're going to drink regular old water. And I think we're going to get the heck out of Dodge, even though it's still late. Around, actually, uh, rather early in the morning. But I think it's time to go done waiting around we just drop off these bottles so we have 125 bottles in a full stack here that we hope to fill up with some murky water we don't even have to purify it although the purification process actually does make the water more um hydrating so i think the lemonade is only like 10 and regular water is like 15 but sometimes you know you just gotta you just gotta take what you can get and sometimes that's just uh, lemonade out of a toilet. All right, where are we going now? Due north, heading to the airdrop right there. All right, crank up that headlight and let's roll out. It's 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> Probably not the best time to be out on a bicycle during a zombie apocalypse. But I was getting bored at home. So let's go get her done. I'm going to check these cars, though. Have we checked these cars? Nope, not this one. Find good stuff in cars sometimes. Oh, gun parts. Motor tool parts. Okay, I thought it was a gun. By the way, I did buy five bow parts. So we're going to be able to make a nice compound bow. Now that we know how to make a compound bow, we just have to get the parts. We need, I think, seven parts to make a, a compound bow. Oh, hold on. we got a pedestrian here. Beep, beep. Oop, I forgot my horn. <laughs> We actually do have a horn. We also have a couple of skill points we need to spend. What was this the end of the road? Already? Oh, wow, that was fast. Okay, we're going into the woods. Into the woods? Right here. Cross country, baby. Oh, hold on. Can't pass up a nest. Ah, I need the eggs. I'd rather have the eggs. 
for the bacon and eggs. We gotta get into farming pretty soon, too. This is a chicken. Hold on. Oh, he's on the run! Dang it! Alright, well, I'm not gonna chase the chicken. <laughs> yeah, I wanna get into farming so we can get into cooking, like, beef stews and vegetable stews and that kind of thing. More filling food. Because the, uh, the foods we're eating right now, they go right through you. Oh, hold on. I hear something. Oh, there's a chicken. Is that a chicken or a What the heck? Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a chicken. And that ain't no chicken. <laughs> it's a Zambi. Oh, boy, here he comes. Get wrecked. Don't you touch my bike. Speaking of farming, we could buy it right now. We have two skill points. But I think we'd be better served by spending our points on things we do more of. Like, you know, survival-y things especially. How about this? I'm gonna upgrade Archer. We obviously do a lot of shooting. And also the sneak attacks. Extra 100% damage. Up from 50. Yeah, those sneak attacks should be one-shot kills in my opinion. Hopefully that'll help. Alright. Let's keep moving. We also have to find a body of water. So we can fill up these... Oh, just speaking of... Right there. Oh, hi. Hey, ma'am. Where is she? What is she doing? She didn't even see us. She must be blind. Is this the one with the eye popped out of her head? There we go. There's that one-shot kill I was telling you. 4.5. Baby. Get wrecked. Holy cow. Yeah, that's the one with the eye popped out. No wonder. <laughs> the other eye must have been closed. <laughs> one is out. One was closed. We rode right past her. All right, let's be careful here because there might be some animals. Oh, what was that? Somebody chopping out a tree or something over there. Oh, there's a guy fighting a dog or a wolf or something. Oh, boy. Let's get a little closer. We're going to use a shotgun here because if it's a wolf, they are tough. Oh, it's a wolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if we want to mess with it because they are actually really strong. Yeah, let's just... We get the... Oh. I was going to say we get the sneak attack on him. That's pretty good. And where are you at? You die? What's up, puppy? You sound so sad. Maybe you wanted to be a friend. What's your name, fella? Can we check your collar? Uh, oh. oh, boy. Um... <clears throat> Yeah. I thought maybe it was somebody's dog. <laughs> you seem nice. Alright, well, let's go. Might as well get the meats. Alright, 25 wolf meat. Not too shabby. Okay, let's go get our water now. We can drink it right out of the pond. Alright, let's get the bottles out. Scoop it up. Don't drink. Actually, you can drink it. It's fine. I am wet. Really? Let's have some. Mmm. Not bad. <laughs> Tastes like fresh pond. Uh, alright. It's now... Wow, 3.30. Making pretty good time. We got, we got a swimmer. Dude, get out of the water. This is a fresh reservoir. You can't swim in here. Look at this fool. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, let's, um, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's get to that airdrop. Oh, look who it is. One-Eyed Wendy. Hey, Wendy. How we doing? Oh, gosh. Here she comes. Oh, boy. I guess she saw us. I guess she spotted us. Oh, now, now she's not going to see anything, is she? Hello. Man, everybody's out walking around in the woods today. Dang it. All right, we're getting close. 127 meters right over the hill here. Let's check that birdie nest. And I'm going to chop it up because we ain't coming back this way again. Boing. All right. Right there. We're so close. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go, right where they left it. <laughs> or something. Oh, no! It goes the bike. <laughs> okay, let's open it up. See what we got. Oh! Ooh, we got a uh, chemistry station schematic. Okay. That'll come in handy. And padded gloves, level 5. I already get those. So, we could, we could sell them, I guess. And some antibiotics, which are certainly handy. Put those on the bike with the others. Alright, so we're right on the border of that 
ugly biome right here, which we're not going to go into. We're just going to head now to the east. Boing! Whee! Whoa! Man, that guy's on something. Ooh, here comes the sun. It's only 5.30 in the morning. Whee! Oh, I see a road. I see a road. Yes. Oh, yeah, baby. We got a road. I know. It's, it's, it's very exciting, isn't it? Very exciting. Wait, I think I'm going the wrong way. Hold on. Let's get this wayward traveler off our back. Uh, we have a... We got a house here. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm not going to go to the house. I want to... I don't know if we have time for the house. So let's... Let's just travel south, see what we can find down here. I'd really like to find a town, maybe one of those bookstores. We got a fork in the road. Oh, never mind. That's a dead end. Just gonna follow this road, see if it leads to a town or something of that nature. Oh, oh boy, hold on. Who's that? Oh, oh, nice leap. Back down there, though. <laughs> I think this is the end of the road, or at least. Oh, it is a dead end. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're going off road. Whee! All right, we're back on the road. Beep, beep. Oh, sorry, fella. You okay? Walk it off. Walk it off. Um, yeah, so now we are on the road. It's a big road. So I'm debating maybe heading to the northeast for a little while and maybe finding a big town over here. And then we can head back down to our tier one fetch quest later. I mean, it's only 8.30 in the morning. We got plenty of time. If we're going to find a town, it's going to be on the main highway, I would think. Because we really need to. Uh, I got some good news and some bad news. Uh, I'll give you the bad news first. We got, a, we got a flat tire here. I hit something on the road. It's very sharp. Let me get the... Ah, got it. Holy smokes, look at that thing. It's a tooth. It's a huge tooth. I guess that's what happens when you run people over in the street, right? <laughs> uh, but the good news is, check it out. We got a town here, very large from the looks of it. Boing! And that makes me excited. Let's go check it. Oh, don't hit that guy. He might have a big tooth, like the last guy. But I will hit a chicken. They don't have any teeth, do they? Nope. <laughs> All right, look at it. Look at this, guys. We got a massive structure here. Uh, is that? It could be a shotgun messiah. We have done one of those in the past, and it took... It would have taken multiple episodes. I had to cut out a lot of that, I recall. Oh, there's a crawler. Yeah, don't hit them. Unless you have a spare tire. Yeah, this is great. Look at the size of this place. I think it's much bigger than the town we're in now. Oh, yeah, look at that. Holy smokes, this is not a town. It's a city. All right, let's just kind of explore a little bit. And then we'll head to our fetch quest. This does look like... Oh, it's a cracker book! Holy moly! This giant building! It's a cracker book! Wow, that is the jackpot! How many bookshelves are in a cracker book, I wonder? There must be dozens! Stand still, lady! There we go. Won't hurt much for long. Yeah! Cracker book! It is enormous! Alright, well, we don't have time to do it right now. Um, so I think what we're going to do is go do the fetch quest, and then, did I get him? And then we'll head, uh, head back home, and unload and get ready, and we'll come back here, we'll have a whole, a whole day ahead of us. Bonk! Maybe there's a hotel here we can stay in overnight, and then in the morning we get the whole day for this cracker book. It's gigantic! Oh my gosh, I am so excited we found a cracker book. That means a lot of schematics. I sure hope so, because we need some. Boing! We just need some basic ones like forge, that kind of thing. Um, all right, let's have a quick look around. This is like some kind of a fort right here. Oh, prison. It's a prison. That can make a great base. A prison base. Just like they did in The Walking Dead, which, you know what, didn't really turn out so great after all. Oh, door's open. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, look at this. We have an outer wall and an inner fence. That could be fantastic for a base. We got a 
post office here. We got a paper mill. Oh, big post office. This is just like a little, little satellite office, I guess. Yeah, there's lots here. Oh boy, I am super excited. It's only 11 o'clock, too. I think I'm going to tour the town a little bit. And then um, we shall reconvene in the next episode. And we'll, we'll go to that Cracker Book. That'll be the first stop. Wow. Food. There's a food store. And a Shotgun Messiah. Woo-wee. Yes, indeed, my friends. We did hit the ja jackpot at a tree. We hit the jackpot at a tree, sir. <laughs> Home run. All right. Yeah, I don't even know what to do with myself right now. I'm so excited. How about if we get the bike out of the tree first? And I will, uh, yeah, I'll get organized for the next episode. We'll do crack a book first and get a bunch of, hopefully, a bunch of really good schematics. Oh, another cranky oil. Clunky oil, whatever it's called. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Oh. Oh, gosh. Uh, that's my belly. Well, we got plenty of water, murky water right here. Let's use our head sack filter there and just drink those down. So excited. Neglecting my basic necessities. Yeah, I'm going to head home, get organized, and I'll be back. I know I keep saying that, but I can't stop looking. Uh, oh, actually, we got to get the fetch quest first, don't we? Well, I'll get that on the way back. It's probably nothing too exciting. I really just want to get to that cracker book, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll hit the fetch quest on my own, get it done, um, and then we'll come back for the cracker book. In the next episode. So yeah, that's it for now, my friends. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. Oh look, Buddy's Grain. Nice. Oh, and we got a camp out here. Private camp. I better not go get too close because it might be booby trapped. Alright, is there a road heading south? Yeah, sort of. This one might lead us there eventually, so I'm gonna do a little exploring. Is that a biker? <gasps> Oh, yeah, it is. They're worth lots. They're worth lots of XP. One shot to the noggin. Love that new choke. All right, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.